Do you hear that sound? It's coming down the mountains. It's, it's a nerd, nerd shout! shout! <laughs> Welcome to Nerd Shout Agent Carter After Show. <laughs> did you just drum on your chest? I did. <laughs> Woo! That wasn't an invitation to keep going. I know. I just have to know. <laughs> I love we're it. Scared right. We're going to sing we, some more. We something. are the Nerd Shout team. I'm Kevin Becker, and joining me as always are the rest of the Nerd Shout team, and they are... Mark Cirillo, and I have a boo-boo, because I'm never going to be able to do this show at the top of my game. Hey guys, it's Demetrius Hartman. Welcome back to Nerd Shout. Good to have you back. And of course, joining us as she has been last episode, and she will for a little while as she's on a top secret assignment. As an uh, agent. As, as an agent. <laughs> hey, yeah, let's throw it over to Kayla. Everybody say hi to Kayla. Say hi, Kayla. Hi, Kayla. Hey, guys. It's Kayla Thixaria. It's good to be back. All right. We're, we're super glad that we still have Kayla joining us via satellite. <laughs> in this day and age, <laughs> there are satellites in space. In this day and age. Uh, so we're here to talk about the newest episode of Agent Carter, which is technically episode six yep. of Agent Carter. Now, uh, this week's episode was a big episode for the story. Uh, we had a lot going on. We had a lot going on. But to get started with this episode, the big question that that it raised for me is what is Leviathan really after? Because obviously they're trying to get into the SSR's lab Sneak to get at their there, stuff. Sneak there. So they tried Not to certain. take uh, the tetracycline before, right? Yeah. Did I just make up a word? <laughs> tetracycline? Uh, nitramine. The nitramine, you mean. The nitramine. nitramine. The nitramine. Tetracycline might be Tetra, something I took at the it's dentist. A four, it's a four-wheel <laughs> nitroglycerin yeah. chemical. Uh, yes, so the, the nit nitramine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the glowy orange stuff. Um, the Dragon Balls. Yes, the Dragon... Wow. <laughs> no, right? Nerd shout. Um, so the <laughs> Leviathan was originally after that. Now the SSR has it. Do you guys think that the, the, the psychiatrist is going back in to get that? Or are they possibly... I think they're after Steve's blood. Yeah. Um, because but how would they know that she has it? That's... I mean, they, can, they can always explain that's that away, the, but that's that's true. That's because true. nobody knows she has it, right? But they're not breaking into her house; they're breaking into the SSR. So if they know what Tony had in his vault, mm -hmm. and they said that they're very skilled. At, oh, yeah. Well, they're very skilled manipulators. They also have this the the they have like ring hypnotism, yeah. thing. the ring, and they can hypnotize people with it. Focus Which was he just focus. making a high pitched noise with it? Like, I don't know what it was exactly. How does that work? Maybe I want to know. kind of like a I want to get subliminal <laughs> messaging through tonal, like, like tonal focus. control or something like that. I want to watch our show. <laughs> focus. Uh, I'm just rubbing my finger. <laughs> I wanna, That's I wanna, the actually, only reason it's not working. <laughs> I want to say actually, this was for me. I think this was my favorite episode so far. Of yeah. Carter. Like the cinematography was on point. Yeah, the acting, ninety nine percent was on point. Uh, <laughs> The story wise, it was great. Like the the progression felt very organic. Yeah, in the whole story. And I want to talk more about the progression of the story we'll, first. We'll get into But you that. had a theory about where you think they're going, uh, where okay. Leviathan's after, and I like this theory because this could be really cool for the MCU in general. All right, yeah, continue. <laughs> because if Dimitri's got a theory, it's <laughs> either right. Or, or it's absolutely crazy. Insane. <laughs> what if uh, Madame Hydra was an octopus <laughs> that came down from outer space? She's a Krang from she the Ninja is, Turtles. That's <laughs> what she is. Uh, no, but um, nerd chow. So <laughs> I, I'm thinking the way that the way that it work, the way that I think the timeline would fit is that at the end of the series, this series, this season of Agent Carter, we could have the reveal of. Um, the Winter Soldier. I think that's what Leviathan is in control of. I think the Leviathan have Bucky. They've been experimenting on Bucky this entire time. And uh, and we were discussing it earlier. Mm -hmm. That we're thinking that uh, Zola was actually experimenting on Bucky with Red Skull's blood. Yeah, before that's what he was. Saying. That was my theory um, because there's the the flashback in Winter right. Soldier seems to imply that Zola was doing something to Bucky on that table during Captain America: First Avenger that allowed him to survive that epic fall off the train. The train. So it was a diluted version. So of the yeah, serum. my theory, my theory is that they took the, is that Zola used. A diluted version of Red Skull's blood, which was the original Super Soldier Serum, mm -hmm. 
and started slowly putting that into Bucky. Now, I don't know if that 100% made him Winter Soldier yet, so that at least allowed him to survive the fall. And they're combined with uh, the, the Russians, or the Leviathan in this case, having taken his body and been experimenting on him for this entire time, they would obviously need the formula, the actual formula that is in um, you know, Captain America's blood, the, 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 the full serum, to complete Bucky's transformation into the Winter Soldier. So what if by the end of the season we actually have the first official reveal and set up for Winter Soldier as Bucky. Because, I mean, they still have to pick up that yeah. plot. Huh. And they might not get a chance to explain it in Civil War since it's such a packed storyline. Yeah. So why not get it kick-started or at least do the backstory for him and flesh him out more as a character through Agent Carter? Because I want to see Winter Soldier in everything. I'm a Bucky Barnes <laughs> fan to the end of the day. If Bucky Barnes yeah. and the Vision got into a van and just went, on it, oh, like, oh went to God. burger places, I would read that every week. Mark Wade, please get on that. Vision and Winter Soldier <laughs> going to <laughs> White Castle. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to happen. Um, because just well, but now, when would they do that in like a season two of Agent Carter? Or do you think they're going to do that in well, two episodes? That might be the cliffhanger of the end of season one of Agent Carter. Because I love that idea. Like, yeah, and I know totally last great. time, the last interview I read with Sebastian Stan about Civil War, he was like, yeah, I'm in it. I have no idea what I'm doing yet. I haven't really seen what I'm doing. Which is <laughs> interesting because Anthony Mackie is going around talking about, you know, the Falcons talking about, this is going to be an awesome movie. It's going to be so oh, great. Yeah. And then Sebastian well, Stan's like, the addition of Spider-Man. Oh, we'll talk about <laughs> oh my God. All the time. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? What the hell am I doing? I was a spider from oh, yeah, my face. Mackie's been shown no strength. <laughs> He's just like, I'm still a falcon, I can't believe it. <laughs> Guys, I get I'm to wear so wings. <laughs> um, but it could, be, it could be really interesting to see, e even if we don't get to see Sebastian Stan, however, he has been on television. He was on Once Upon a Time. Um, right, yeah. Probably other things as well. I should have He's becoming seen. a much bigger star, <laughs> so, so that would make sense. But um, I forgot I forgot the guy who plays Howard Stark, the actor's name. Dominic Cooper. Yeah, yeah. Dominic Cooper. I mean, he's a film actor. Yeah. It's really expensive for him to be on television, but they still have him on so many episodes. And there's the possibility that Jeremy Renner is going to be on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. this exactly. season. Exactly. So, because he wants to do it. He wants to do it, and he went back for reshoots in the costume when no other actors from Avengers were doing it. So, so oh. they, they're really trying to link all the MCU movies and the MCU TV series a lot together. And, and also, the activation process for Winter Soldier is like every 20 years, mm -hmm. every one decade or so. Yeah. So that would also make sense that he's a reoccurring villain throughout Asian Carter across different decades. And we don't even necessarily uh, have to see him either. It right. can just be these stories. And, you know... I think I think that could be pretty cool. That's that would like, be really yeah. awesome. I just got way more excited about Agent Carter than I have been so far. <laughs> <laughs> no, put Bucky in it. I'm in. Yeah, so far we've been like, uh, you've been I, along a little bit. I have actually enjoyed it a lot more than the first season of Agents of Shield. Okay, well let's. I thought was. Yeah. Here's here's my issue. Here's topic number two for me. Yeah. I liked this episode a lot. I would have loved to see this episode three episodes ago. I think the pacing on this season yeah. has been weird for me because you get the first two episodes that they that they packaged together, which was we gotta get this shiny golden globe. Ooh, they set up Leviathan as this yeah. big glass. Leviathan is coming. Four episodes down the line. And then we'll be back to that. <laughs> and Leviathan kind of happened in and out, and it was a thing that was vaguely chased, but it was the first four episodes were about Howard. Yeah. And okay, and great. a few MacGuffins here and there. I like yeah. Howard. I think he's great. Him and Peggy are awesome. Jarvis is the best thing that's happened to television in a while. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's quite true. But at the same <laughs> time, <Just a> statement. <laughs> it's James Darcy. Come on, man. Stay. I hurt my hand. <laughs> um, yeah. At the same time, episode five, we start getting into what I feel like. I feel like the first four episodes of Agent Carter were, were season one of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We got a lot to set up. You go back, you watch episode two and three of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and you're like, oh, inhuman stuff that I'm not going to realize is there for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. All right? And then you go into Agent Carter, and you're like, Leviathan's coming, and there's all this cool stuff. And we get to see Peggy doing awesome things, but I would rather have seen two, ep like two episodes of her on the lam and her and Jarvis being one step ahead of the SSR the whole time instead of 10 minutes of her on a ledge and then Angie 
doing a hilarious crying thing that I thought was very funny. <laughs> so, I mean, like, you know, it's great. It was one of the best scenes <laughs> in the entire season so far. Chad, like, but please stop that. <laughs> please, just, please stop. Just all the reaction. Yeah, I call her really Gam Gam. Yeah. Gam Gam Gam. Yeah. Oh, just, just that's a good bit. <laughs> but I mean, that's that's my opinion. I know, I know, Mark. You've really been liking the season, though. Would you? Would that have yeah. changed it for you? Well, I don't know. I mean, I think that I also may have lowered my standards <laughs> were based on the first season of Agents first of Shield. First seasons of Marvel shows. And uh, granted, this is better than than season one. Than like. Much of season one. Yeah, of and I'm totally into the fact that they yeah. they made it so different, like because it's so stylized and like with the time period and and it's and a big gamble as well. Yeah, yeah, and and she is so smart and so like she, I just think that she's, she's great. Wonderful. She's a great she's character. riveting yeah. and like yeah, amazing. And I just love seeing her kick ass. Yeah. I love seeing all the women on it kick ass. Yeah. Yeah, so, they have they have like some really strong female characters right now. They they're not do. like my gripe with the first three episodes or so was that the female characters still felt like caricatures of, mm -hmm. of like strong women. It was like they were they were making them strong for the sake of making them strong characters, but they weren't grounded in reality. At and that I feel like this yet. now Black Widow initiative plus Peggy being a fugitive has grounded everybody. Exactly. More. And <laughs> even though it's completely fantastical, it's still very much okay. Grounded. But we're talking <laughs> about a series where there's a dude in a big robot suit who flies around. Exactly. <laughs> so there's gonna that be world. We're in that world. We're in that world right. where when Mark Ruffalo gets pissed, he turns into a giant green Rage monster. monster. Yeah. So I mean, there's fantastical elements. I, I do want to say I feel like I'm, I'm, this is so stupid and minor, but I hate that she's not going to be able to go back to that women's split. The Griffith. The Griffith. The Griffith. Because like I love that actress Megan Faye that like runs it. I Here's just wanted I want. her to have more to do. I didn't want her to be like the stereotype. I want stereotype her to start a new ass. place that Peggy goes and lives, and like the SSR <laughs> Shield is just like you have to let her live here. She's like I won't do it, but <laughs> you have to. You have to by law. Well. All right, <laughs> fine. Because then, and this poor woman is now just plagued by Shield. And okay, she's because for she's years. in the fold now. <laughs> like she's kind of part of it against she, her will. She's she's Peggy's Jarvis. Yeah. <laughs> she exactly. so, Kayla, how do you feel? Kayla, Kayla, Kayla tell us, tell us. Both on topic one and topic two. You well, have to topic tell us. one. Really, only you spoke about that, which I think we're all fine with. with the whole theory. <laughs> I, think, I think, and, I'm, and I know Kayla's feelings on Winter Soldier. I feel like she's on board with that. Uh, with him being around. But Kayla, what do you think about, uh, how do you feel about the pacing of the season so far? The pacing of the show has been getting a lot better for me. I haven't been the biggest fan of the show um, since the first episode. The last couple episodes have been getting a lot better. This last recent episode, um, uh, episode six, I believe, was the best so far, in my, in my opinion. It just keeps getting better and better for me. The pacing is getting a lot better. The pacing at first was really weird and just, I don't know, it, I did, it didn't feel right, um, in my opinion, but it's getting so much better, and I'm really excited to see how they're going to end the season. Uh, hopefully it gets renewed, uh, renew Agent Carter, please, please, please. Uh, I see that hashtag on Twitter all the time, hashtag renew Agent Carter, so hopefully they do renew it, uh, but I don't know, um, the pacing was really off for me the first few episodes, but this last episode was, it was a lot better, and I think it's going to end on a really high note, and you're right, Kevin, I am completely for the Winter Soldier, uh, connection that Dimitri mentioned at the end of the season, um, hopefully they do it. I don't know if they will. It's kind of like a far off chance. That's like a really, really far out theory, but hopefully they do do it. I don't know. Maybe. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, and the final topic. This is this is something we got two episodes left. Yeah. Here's what oh, I want to do. Man. We're gonna we're gonna do a little bet here. Wait, two episodes oh. and then it's just how are we gonna do that? None of us have money. <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, guys. We're on the internet. We don't have any money. Uh, <laughs> so, okay. Who do we think is going to die and survive okay. by the end of the season? Okay. All right. Mm. Dimitri, who do you think? Who do I think was... is going to make it out and who do you think's going to going to fall? 
I think, uh, so I think Chief, Chief Dooley. I was just going to say that too. Chief Dooley is probably going to Wait your high. turn, Mark. No, 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 no I can't. You know what? Now I'm going to find another agree. one. We can that's agree. That's going to die. Or everyone's going to You know what? Actually, Peggy Carter's going to die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the titular character. Uh, oh, oh, Kayla saying Angie Kayla's will die. Kayla's ringing on Angie dying. Okay, here's what, here's what I think about Angie dying. We're gonna take Do you turns, really but we think we're just gonna like die. we're not really taking turns. We're not turns, good at though. turns, guys. No, we're so, really not. So Jesus, but, right. I don't want Angie to die. I don't, I don't want Angie to die will. either. And here's the only way I think Angie would die. Angie now knows about Peggy's secret life, but she's she said smart. goodbye. She said like, okay, bye. Like, I, that's not my world. I'm an actress. Yeah. Goodbye. If uh-huh. she really felt, I'm doing it in the 1940s, right? Yes. Um, I'm not doing it that. Not if she really no. felt the cool. need to save Peggy, and she involved, which granted, I want her involved in the last two episodes. I love that character, yeah, but yeah. she really has to kind of sacrifice herself for Peg to be like, I need to save my friend and put herself where she doesn't belong, yeah. which could happen because she's an actress. Because and she's she an can actor. do anything. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna be a star! <laughs> of course! A silver screen! But no men after 10. <laughs> or ever. <laughs> well, see, it's really interesting because I got the chance to read uh, like the prologue uh, comic the book. Pre- for, to Ant-Man. Yeah, to Ant Man. And, and it ties into this? Not this. It doesn't tie into it, but uh, you see Peggy Carter as one of the heads of S.H.I.E.L.D., her and Howard Stark together. Uh, you also see Hank Pym, okay. a much younger Hank Pym than Howard Stark. Uh, you see their interaction, but you see that Peggy Carter is like very seasoned at this point. You can see in the lines in her face, in a way, and the lines in the bubbles, you see that she's a very, very matured, seasoned agent at that point and has been through a lot of loss. So I think that losing Captain America isn't the only thing that she's lost. <laughs> You know, because he he almost lived his life, you know, by fighting in the Second World War. She's kind of got over it. They've established that. Now it's almost about other people that she's going to lose in her life and that is going to establish her as a much stronger person who's going to have to create this organization that is, is, is founded on compartmentalizing information and moving forward and, you know, like hiding information from some of their own agents. I, I, could, see, I could see Angie being a big loss. I could see her being a big loss in season two. I think she's a, yeah, she's yeah. a favorite like, character. I think they're going to spread them out throughout. Well, the especially because they built up so much that like she was not going to let her in. She wasn't going to let her in because she yeah. didn't want to put her at risk. Yeah, and, and I think so to let be way too fast. I think to let season one end with like I'm so glad I let you into my life, and then season two happens, and then Angie, you know, Angie gets killed, and it's, and I know they're talking about fast forwarding season two at like ten years. To be a so 50s. That, that means we need to have the relationship, though, between uh, Carter and whoever's going to be yeah. her husband set up by b- before yeah. that. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, there's, it'll be interesting to see if they come back and what they do with it if they do. Yeah, let um, us know what you guys think about this and like who it's going to be. I mean, we've discussed it before, I think, but I we're think, getting uh, to the end. I think Thompson's going to die. You think Thompson's going to die? Thompson's, I think Thompson's going to get a chance... To a redeem stand up for himself. Peggy and redeem himself for the big reveal in last episode yeah. for uh, killing those the soldiers who were gonna um, surrender, and I think that I think we got to see a little bit of his walls broken down. Yeah. Peggy saying, "I, uh, I, I can explain this," and he goes, "Cool," and he goes, "Then just turn yourself in and come in and explain it." He gives her the chance, and then she, "I can't do that." I went, why? Why can't you? <laughs> they actually You're, gave you the chance to explain yourself. Because then and you, you, have an you get to so many opportunities you get to go to and do be that. like this, by the way, the whole SSR be with me. And instead you were like, the time that I could have spent explaining it to them is the time I will now spend hiding on my roof. Yes, <laughs> pretty much. So, yeah. I mean, I understand that it's a tough situation for her to be in, but it's... But she doesn't have to keep running away. Because yeah. in the end, when she was in the SSR, she she looked like she was pretty much up for the fact that she'd been arrested. She was okay she with it. She had come to grips with it now, but she'd just done it... It just didn't feel... Half a day ago. <laughs> yes. She keeps her calm very yeah. well. It, it, sometimes there's it, there's like that... Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's bipolar nature or whatever. No, for I the show it's... itself, not for the character. Yeah. <laughs> the, the writing that is a little bit inconsistent. Here it goes. Not the character. I think that Peggy Carter is a, a bipolar schizophrenic. I think that's what happened. Ooh. No, that's not true. How interesting I don't think that. Uh, 
But she does end up having Alzheimer's, she's right? She's 30 so, and yeah. I mean, yeah. Did you, besides Chief Julie, did you have anybody else you think was gonna... Not that it's linked. I was gonna um, say goodbye. I mean, we, I, I thought for a second I was worried about, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Angie. But, yeah. I swear it, probably uh, Dottie. We probably killed Dottie. She's a bad guy. <laughs> well, Dottie, actually, my theories for her, which goes into the fact that we've only seen her kill people that were kind of built up as characters. In right. Oh, yeah. Like, even the All cop the she killed was, like, womanizing, cheating on his, like, wife, like... Oh, that's not the dentist that, like, was a creepy dentist that hit on her and sent everybody home so he could be alone with her and probably was going to try and rape her <laughs> um, or something. Like, yeah, killed yeah. him. Like, so all the people that she's killed, like, they sort of built them up to be not great yeah. people. Yeah. So they're almost validated murders. <laughs> not really. <laughs> but in this world or whatever. In, in this world and so I was then. thinking that maybe at some point, like, she might flip. Hmm. Or be sort of a, or go vigilante yeah, or something, and so it's sort of a love hate. Sometimes they work together, sometimes they're bad. Like you know, I, that kind of, I, and I know that's like out there, but it's just where my it's head went with the way they were building. Like her, because they killed innocent people her, in the Marvel MCU right. before. Yeah, like, yeah, they, I mean, exactly. They, they but a moment of silence yeah. for for dead unknown SSR agent. That guy. That guy. Oh my god, right? Short <laughs> lamp. You just got introduced. But did like, you I'm know gonna, as soon as he was introduced, I'm gonna be a gonna featured be part of his life. I feel bad episode. because he went one he's of two ways. that guy on Star Trek that's like <laughs> he's the red the shirt. shirt. Red shirt. Exactly. It went one of two ways because we said it when the episode was happening. He was either dead or Peggy's husband. Like that was one of two <laughs> yeah. things that he was gonna be. <laughs> and he was dead, so. so. But, Kayla, uh, what Kayla, do you think? Who do you, Kayla, you've already weighed in that you think Angie. Is there anybody else? Uh, and how do you feel about our theories? Give us your If I were to pick somebody uh, to die at the end of the season, I, I, I'm not gonna. Angie's not gonna die. I don't think Angie's gonna die. Although I did write it on my handy dandy piece of paper. Um, I do not think Angie's gonna die. If um, I guess I'll, I'll, I have to say who I don't think is going to die first to figure out who's going to die. I don't think Thompson's going to die. I don't think Seuss is going to die because that would be just an injustice to the show because there's so much more growing that those characters can do. Um, I have like, oh, so much more growing that I can see those characters getting there, like getting to this point. I don't like Sousa. He's finally being like, I feel like he's going to be more respected as an agent because of the fact that he did figure out that Peggy was, um, involved with the Leviathan. Well, so that the, you know, so the SSR thing, so you don't know the real truth, obviously. Um, Thompson, he did finally kind of like, uh, uh, peel off his layers of a character and like crack open that shell and kind of show his human side a little bit. I do think that's going to kind of go away now because he tr started trusting Carter and um, and she broke his trust technically by lying to the SSR. So that's going to be a whole other ball game. That's going to have to be a whole like new um, trust building thing they're going to have to do for season two. But if I had to pick somebody right now, I'm with Dimitri. I think um, Dooley's gonna die. I honestly do think probably Dooley's gonna die. He's the um, the most logical character on the show to die right now because there's not much more to him other than the previous episode when he met with that um, that when other than the previous episode we saw Dooley do a little bit more with his character uh, by going to talk to go going to the prison and um, talking to that one guy and then going to the bar and then talking to Jarvis so we did see a little bit happen with Dooley's character but I can do without him I mean it, it, would, it would be nice to see Thompson in charge of the SSR because that would be an interesting mix so um I definitely think probably Dooley's gonna die. If I had to place my bets on somebody. I don't know. Use that uh, hashtag nerd, nerd shout scout. to tell us who you think is gonna make it out alive. Now, usually we end our show. Dude, you, you have watched me use my hands to make I'm a like trying to be Sorcerer Supreme right now. Yeah. 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 I would watch. Hashtag. And it's not, this is not what oh he was on. Daisy's going crazy. Daisy doesn't Daisy. think. Crazy Daisy. 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 Uh, but. 
Now, we like to end our episodes with what we call our nerd shout out, which is oftentimes a question from one of you. Now, this week we're going to do something a little different. Last week I challenged you. I said, hey, show me your best hashtag dum dum stash. Right. Uh, we got to see Dimitri's. We got to see Mark's. I'm still trying to find a dog. And we got to see Kayla. And we got to see Kayla's. Um, but we did get, uh, we got a few responses. And we got a response from somebody who gave us not one, not two, but three pictures of an in-progress dumb, dumb stash. <laughs> so we're going to bring one of it up. Uh, you can check them out on Twitter. They're uh, Geek Hound Reviews. They are at G33KH0UND. Geek Hound. At, at Geek Hound, but with those numbers as well. And uh, that's, uh, that's a pretty great dumb, dumb stash. Yeah, like, thank I'm, you. Uh, my Irish is jealous. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so if we so still want... So Greek. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> so if you... What are you? Wait, what? We're, I'm Irish, he's Greek. Italian. Are you? Italian. I yeah. know, but we maybe they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and French. Kayla. <laughs> All right, that ends our nationality <laughs> section of the show. Um, so let the us, more you know. <laughs> while you're sending us your thoughts, while you're sending us your questions, keep t- hashtagging that dum dum stash because I love it. We it's need hysterical. to keep it going. We it's need legit. It. I want dum dum stash trending. And maybe by we the end of them back on. Yes. They'll they definitely be back on for season two. They've got to be. Yeah. You've got to have Tom Commandos back. <laughs> so put it up on Reddit. And put trips, it up on uh, all that. Let's start an AMA yeah. called yeah. dum dum stash. It's going to be great. <laughs> so thank you guys very, very much. We'll be back to talk about all all of the nerdy things. Um, let us know what you'd like to hear about. Uh, we, do, we do the AJ Carter after show, but we'd love to talk to you about more things. We've got some things that we are, are coming up. Uh, Check out, I know there's going to be, uh, I'm posting a video, I got to go to the Marvel Experience, um, the touring Marvel Experience, so we'll have a video of my reactions from there and some sneak peeks as well. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't seen it yet, check it out, I'm sure it's probably over there. And I'm gonna try to get something up about the Agents of Shield comic book. Yeah, like Mark Wade. Right. Second That's time he's got a shout out. In Lots this of Mark Wade on this episode. Yeah. Uh, and as always, make sure you visit some of our friends. Check out our friends over at Shield Radio. Yes. You can listen to their podcast at uh, HelicarrierPodcast.com or check them out on Twitter at, at Shield Radio. If you like talking about nerdy stuff. They're really fantastic. They're great to talk to. They're a lot of fun. They're very supportive of us. We're very supportive of them. Symbiotic relationship. Symbiote. Spider-Man. I think that's where we ended. Thank you guys guys. so very, very much for hanging out. And remember, we keep wanting to hear your nerd shout. Take care. Peace out.